all right welcome back to the channel everyone thank you very much for tuning in to another video all right this 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 thought has been in my head since i did the kishen thompson video and i'm going to be sharing with you and of course i always uh look out for the comments in the comment section you know what i mean because your comments are important to me you know you understand but before I get into that, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, so that you can become a part of the family. Also, you can share, tell a friend to tell a friend about the coach's desk. All right. So, let's talk about our male sprinting. Uh, because since Usain Bolt, it has basically took a nosedive. We are not seen as the leading sprinting prowess in the world right now in terms of the on the male side and how it is right now it is not really far-fetched in terms of dominance from any particular individual um the only thing that we could say right now is that noah lyles is actually dominating the 200 meters and he is the man that has won the double that has not been done for a while, the one two double. Um, he is also making um, speeches that he is going after one of the records. And for me, the 100 might be difficult for him. The 200 is still, you know, the way off, but that could be the closest that he goes to get in one of these records the great and legendary usain bolt's record talking about usain bolt um usain bolt recently made a post of you know talking about nothing would have been done where his uh financial saga is concerned and <laughs> i think usain bolt is basically holding it because i mean for you to be in a situation where you uh, lose so much money i mean it has to be something that is in your thought process but anyways so back to the sprinting even though we're talking about the sprinting legend <laughs> you understand so people yeah in terms of male sprinting it, there's no clear dominance from any particular individual many were looking for Johan blake to take it for, uh, by the scruff of the neck since bolt he had a serious injury and uh, that has set him back a whole lot then you have a uh, uh, de Grasse, who a lot of jamaicans also like a lot of americans like and they thought that he would have been here to the throne it didn't happen as well because of injuries and then you have a fred curly who stepped down from 400 meters and put his hat in the ring he won the you have a marcel jacobs who came to the fore so a lot of people were just shuffling here and there about uh from a jamaican standpoint you have an uh, oblique civil who came to the scene coached by Glenn Mills, Usain Bolt's former coach. So, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, talks where male sprinting is concerned. But when you look at the Jamaican standpoint, I think there has been a slight research in, 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 in the sprinting department uh, for the Jamaicans. You have a, a oblique civil, uh, you have a, a, a Blake, yes, um the younger blake he is one that emerged on the scene and then the newest is another thompson yes kishane thompson so i mean it is a good look for us where it is concerned but for me as it is right now based off time and what they would have done in the past year, I believe that Oblique Civil and Kishane Thompson 
are Jamaica's two top sprinters right now. You know, the season has not uh, begun for some of them in terms of opening up. But as it stands, Kishane Thompson. So, Kishane and Oblique Sibyl are basically the two top athletes right now, male sprinters in Jamaica. You know, the problem I'm having though, gone are the days when you have an athlete as a sprinter used to do the one and the two. Now, more so, a lot of athletes are only focusing on the 100 meters. And that is telling for me that, I mean, yeah, it is good. You know, the, 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 the 100 is the Blue Ribbon event. But for me, I, I definitely like when the athletes are engaged in the two sprinting event. But that is not really the case right now. But um, separate and apart from that, Oblique and Kishane, two fine sprinters. Um, I mean, I think they are the two persons, along with Akeem Blake, that will basically push the uh, male sprinting of Jamaica this uh, season coming up, Olympic year. But I, I don't know which one of these athletes, Oblique and Kishane, do you see as the... Uh, better sprinter because for me each of them has their own individual prowess i think oblique civil is a little bit fluid um he's a cleaner sprinter than uh kishane thompson kishane thompson seems to me that he's more of a power sprinter uh yes he has a lot of strength and 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 and, and that that's where i think is is his strength lies you get what I'm saying? So, who will come out on top this season? A Kishane or an Oblique Seville? I mean, you have persons who are saying that Kishane can walk in an um, Oblique shoe. And, I mean, Oblique is just a newbie. Not Oblique. Kishane is just a newbie. And Oblique is the better sprinter. I mean, they are not far and, and, and wide apart, you know. They are 9-8 sprinters. Both of them are 9-8 sprinters. But in terms of technical ability, I think Oblique, Oblique has the upper edge in my estimation. But who will deliver on the day? You still don't know. Because it has not happened yet. Oblique would have had more experience. Kishane, very fast, but only in one-off race. Is he a next Asafa Powell? Can he manage the rounds? But of course, he's trained and coached by Stephen Francis. You think Stephen Francis is not going to fix those stuff? You think Stephen Francis is not mindful of those stuff? Of course he is. But we will have to just wait and see, come this season to see which one of these sprinters will actually surge to the pinnacle of, 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 of the sprinting chart. Definitely, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but 